Hey, hey, welcome back to the uh, update video for the surface grinder. So um, we're looking at some new material for the um, uh, frame. I was uh, not happy with the previous uh, frame and I decided to um, to rework the entire frame from scratch. And the base frame is gonna be from two uh, 100 by 200 millimeter rectangular tubes that are 500 millimeters long and the uh, upright uh, post is going to be 150 times 150 millimeters and um, here you can see I'm cutting the 150 times 150 it's uh, it's, it's pretty pretty <laughs> pretty large pretty nice and um, <laughs> Yeah, this is the saw that I repaired, which will be another small video uh, rel relatively soon. And um, what I decided to do was to actually drill holes into the into the large tubes, and I inserted these small rods that are made from ten millimeter or uh, three eighths uh, steel. And the idea was that. To take any flex out of the unsupported area for the tube, I will weld them to either side of the tube, and you'll see that in a in a minute, in, in just a few seconds right now. All right. So the idea is that we have a base tube here. This is number one. This is this is going to be the top one, and I drilled some hole, 11 millimeter holes. And can you focus, please? It cannot. Okay. So, anyways, uh, it's gonna be blurry, but you'll get the point. So, I'm gonna insert these. That went well. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, I'm gonna, uh, gonna ins insert these round rods as such. Okay, they're gonna go in here, they're gonna be welded on, on this side and on the top side, and this gives it some additional torsional uh, strength, okay? And when this is done, that piece is go gonna go on the bottom, so it's gonna be double, alright. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so it's welded on this side, it's very hot, and also on this side, from the top. Okay, and the other one is this. Okay, so we'll have uh, eight total on, on this one. Yeah, so you can see the weld on this and on that one. Alright, super. So this is what it looks inside. And basically now I'm gonna weld this edge and the, the sides and then I'm gonna add plates on either end of, as, as well all right so I have the two pieces clamped down okay and I drilled a few holes here and on the back so I can spot weld these two plates together as well and then I'm gonna weld the the uh, edges on both sides okay and then I'm gonna add a reinforcement plate on this edge this is gonna be this is gonna be the top edge yeah this is gonna be the top edge correct all right and here we can see the uh, the upright post and I dr drilled five hot uh, holes on one side and eight holes on the other side so we'll have like a cross section because I'm planning on filling it with uh, epoxy concrete later as well and here I'm cutting the uh, support plates for the upright and the same support plates are going to go for the bottom side as well. So here we can see the semi-welded, semi-finished end product. And there we have the upright tower with the added plates or L-profiles welded on the side. There we have the middle and we have the saddle which is 495 millimeters wide. And um, <coughs> it's pretty nice and heavy it's gonna get a lot heavier but I think it's gonna be a pretty pretty 
pretty nice small surface grinder. All right, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm gonna include just a few few more pictures at the end, and um, hopefully I will I can do a uh, a update video within uh, maybe by the end of the week, something like that. Hopefully, and um, and I think that's it for now. So, anyways, thank you very much for for watching. If you want to see more of my uh, wacky inventions, just um, subscribe and see what happens. All right, thank you very much.